welcome back to another thrilling episode of Lumberjack Barbecue. Thanks for joining us today. You're in for a treat. Well, maybe not. Um, we're going to make meatloaf. Not any normal meatloaf. Well, it probably is. But it's going to be rolled up. So it ought to be different. While we're waiting for that to uh, thaw the turkey, we can uh, get our uh, veggies going. So, I did not go to culinary school. You chop them up the way you like them. And how you like to chop them up. This just seems to work, so I'm going to do it that way. So one sweet onion diced up. I am your father. Boy, is this effective to cut onions. Holy mackerel. That sweet onion was See, really I, getting to me. I told you, it works. It does, it's much better. <laughs> All right, now we're going to attack our pepper. I'm going to, what am I going to do? Well, you'll get the seeds that way. Don't. Yeah. Oh no. What? Well, no. Just watch and learn. Okay. All hey, right? I've cut many of them, but There's they're a pain that. with the Doesn't seeds. Doesn't mean we're going to waste that. And we're right. going to cut the rib out. Okay, good. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> and there's minimal. There's still some ribs and stuff in there, but we got most of it out. And uh, I guess now I'll just cut it like that. And maybe cut it like that, and like that, and we'll cut this rib out. Well, actually, no, I'll just go like that. Get the white part off of there. That's what you want to do. The pith? I guess what is what that called? called. I, don't I don't know. know. Mm -hmm. Don't cut yourself. So I think I'm going to slice it like that. And then maybe go like this. That ought to work. So that's what we're doing. That's what we're getting. And I'll do that to all the pepper, and then we'll get to the garlic. Okay, we're ready to dump them in. How do we know? We put one onion in. Looks like it's sizzling away. So we're ready to go. Here we go. I'm gonna set this plastic on top of that pan. I'll have a nightmare. Here we are, onions, peppers, medium uh, heat in a cast iron pan, olive oil, and uh, we'll let that saute. We're going to want to add some seasoning, I'm told. <laughs> Happy wife, happy life. I don't know about that much, maybe less, let's see. Yeah, I think a lot less. I don't know if there'll be a waste in it, but we won't waste it. We'll put it right there, and we can use it later. And a little pepper. No, I don't have a little pepper, I have a lot of pepper. And there's a pretty generous portion of pepper, I would say. We'll let that salt pay. And next is to uh, get our garlic ready. You don't want to put the garlic in right away. You want to wait closer to the end. Like we promised, garlic, knife. I already cut the little ends off. Knife, squash, knife, squash. Then the paper, I call it, should come off relatively easy. And then this is always the pain in the ass. How do you do it, this and that? I found the best way for me is just to cut them up as thin as I possibly can. Take your knife and rock it over the pile, and it's going to take a little while, but it always turns out pretty good. And it's getting to the consistency I want. There's still some big chunks in there, so we're going to try to get, get them. And I don't think you can cut it too much, to be quite honest with you. That's pretty close, so we'll stick with that. All right, four minutes later, we're softened up. How did I know? I checked one of the peppers and it's still just about al dente. It's gonna finish up nice. We're gonna take our garlic, put our garlic in. And that's probably another two minutes maybe. The smells in the house are delightful. When garlic hits heat, man, it is totally wonderful. So they're ready. I'm gonna turn this off onto a plate. Well, why a plate? Well, 
I want to put this in the refrigerator and I want it to cool because you don't want to add hot stuff to your uh, meatloaf or your, in this case, your meat roll. So uh, I guess we should have put on a paper towel too. Oh well. So add some fat to the turkey. Mrs. Lumberjack, brilliant person that she is, thought that on a plate, instead of like a bowl, you could spread it out a little more and it might cool faster. I will agree with her if I know what's good for me. We're going to start out with a half a cup of these uh, breadcrumbs. She used them for a recipe and they touched meat. Well, it's going to touch meat again, so we don't care. And it's going to get cooked. So half a cup is what you start with. And you were right, it's pretty close to half a cup. I didn't use on the veggies. So we're not wasting as much. There's still some on here, but whatever. And so I guess that equals about a tablespoon. Okay, I guess the rest of the breading went in from the uh, plastic wire over there. Pepper, onion powder. Doing what, a little palm full of each? All right, garlic powder, rosemary. Oh, I hate these things. Oh, it's coming out pretty easy. Yeah, sage. And time. Simon Garfunkel. Very good. Okay, I guess that's about right. Time. I guess that's all the dry. And then we're gonna do a couple glugs of this. Like that. Is that good? It's looking good. A little more? Nope. Alright. Wait, I'll listen to it. Eggs. That must be nice sound on there. Jeez, oh man. How long does it take to beat a couple eggs? You forgot the ketchup. Oh, shucks, I forgot the ketchup. <laughs> like it there? That's good. Like I said, this is not completely thawed. Mostly it is. I'm going to break up the parts that aren't. So, my most favorite is part. So here's the parts that aren't, right here. So I'm gonna break them up. I'll have a better chance of survival. Oh boy, oh boy, this is gonna be fun. Just... Oh, I love this part when it sticks all over you. Mmm, that's nice. And as they say, there's only one way to do it. And that is to get your hands into it. All right. And don't over mix. Yes, do not over mix. Incorporate over top of it would be for yes. So you're probably talking a cup now. All right, a little over a cup. This is quite a mess I've got myself into. All right, well, we got our turkey pudding here. I'm afraid I'm going to lose it there. Let's get a little closer. Mmm, pudding. Now I'm just going to press it out. And we're hoping that this parchment paper will make it easier to roll. What do you think? That looks great. Alright, veggies are cool. They seem to be room temperature. So let's go to spreading them out, I guess. I'm not sure exactly how to start. I guess I'll go like that. Work my way around this. And spread them out. Let's see what we got. And of course, the amounts in the recipe, they can be changed. That's up to you. This is yours. Or this isn't. But the one you make is yours. I don't think I want to go too far to the end. That way it seals up properly. Our cheese. I think it's safe to say we're going to be try to be liberal with. Now you can't pile your toppings up so much or else it would make it very difficult to roll. Alright, let's try to roll this baby up. Here now. comes the fun part. Oh yeah. Will it be a disaster or a success? 
It can be both, I suppose. I don't want to over squish. Mm -hmm. Oh, you put your paper in there. What a nice log. <laughs> I think it's doing it, guys. If I can close that off. I do not want anything leaking out of it. Doesn't mean it won't. But maybe we'll be all right. You can see spots where it didn't get some of the seasoning or whatever. Uh, I guess that's good. All right, we'll get the aluminum pan, put that on there, put it in the fridge. Freeze your pan, which I already did. Put it this far over this way so that um, um, it would be less over the coals. And we're going to take this up and put a, just a little bit of hickory on here, just to give it some flavor. I'm not going to go crazy with it or anything like that. Every once in a while, we'll just throw a little bit of this on, just to give it a little something. And there we go. I don't know, an hour, hour and a half. It's 400 degrees in here, so it might not take that long. But we want to be careful with turkey, especially ground turkey. Uh, we're looking for 165. And when we get there, uh, when we get to about 155 or 160, probably put some uh, barbecue sauce all over the top of it. See you then. All right, let's check it out. This has been another 20 minutes, so that would be 82 minutes total. Oh, baby, it's time to sauce. So I'm glad I brought it out. So we'll throw all this junk on top of here. We're going to take some of the juices and whatever else is down there. Throw that up on there. I said throw up again. What the hell is wrong Stop with me? Stop it. I wasn't sure if that was going to be enough, but I think it's just enough. Oh, yeah. I'm going to try to take some of that cheese and get that up in there. There we go. We'll go another 20 minutes at the most. All right. Let's check it out. Oh. Baby. Look at that bubble. That tells me where, where to insert. Right in there. And you gotta turn on for, in order for it to work. 174. It's well done. Alright, we're gonna take this inside. Let it rest for 10 minutes because I saw it on the internet that you had to let it rest for 10 minutes. We're gonna slice into this bad boy and see what the hell happens. Alright, here we go. That's it. It's time. It's ready. What was it, 97 minutes. That's an hour and 37 minutes of loving going on right here. Right down the old center. Or the new center. Oh, baby, that looks dynamite. Absolutely awesome. I hope it tastes as good as it looks. You go right for the center. Look at that, a little smoke ring there, it looks nice. Very, very yummy. I think it might have, it could have used a little more spices or whatever, but this is sure to please your family and your friends. What a dynamite dish to make. And this is what we're eating tonight here. Uh, the Lumberjack Lounge, Lair, whatever the heck it is. and. Um, we really appreciate you stopping by, and um, we look forward to, you, uh, to seeing you next time here at Lumberjack Barbecue on Lumberjack PA. Peace.